Hello everybody, it's Neil and I'm back with Croc Legend of the Gobbos. I nearly said Legend of the Gobbos, Croc. Uh, we're in the secret world, the crystal world I believe. Let's crack right on. And we're immediately dead. Twice. It's just like the first level, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually it's quite like the first level, wasn't there like a thing hidden behind a rock in the first level? Um... I don't know if there's going to be like crystals or gobbos in these levels. Might be. Kicked up a notch, a lot of aggressive enemies so far. Oh, that's okay. As long as I have a crystal, I'm happy. It even has the uh, music from the first level, doesn't it? Realise that. Oh, there'll be light. Dead on with my angles here, so I don't fall off the log. Doesn't look like there's any gobbos, does it? I can already hear the other stompers. Nah, oh, ho, 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 that was close. That's really annoying. That looks like we're safe in the middle. Oh no! Well, this stomp, for all intents and purposes, their stomp has an area of effect, doesn't it? That's the issue. all the crystal I need. That was close. Right, go, 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 go! Yes! Doesn't look like it's gobbles and colour crystals, does that? So that's one less thing I have to worry about. Right. That was dangerous. Kind of like the idea of like, like the secret level remodel the previous level to make them harder. At the end of the levels, right there. Yes. Right. I see him. No, <laughs> the last jump of the level. I was going to say he can't shoot down, but turns out he can. Oh, this is going to like really annoy me. 
<laughs> drive me insane. So this is going to be, uh, oh, it's only going to be like four levels. Oh, I do like this music though. So it's all Christmassy, Christmas music. mind snow levels too much in games. But it, it can be annoying. It's the water levels I hate. Oh, I was lucky to uh to get that then. Right, let's get rid of these. No <laughs> I forgot to jump. <laughs> I only want one load of crystals. Ow. You know what? Probably good day at me then, because I think I would have just fallen off. Yeah. It could be, it could, could be that there's only like. Let's do like they yeah, had like uh, a crystal that one. That's what I think of you, loser. Oh. I've missed anything have I? I don't like it. It feels like it feels like they took a room from each level. They took like a, a room from each snow level and bungled them together. But made them all harder. But like this jump is gonna require some respect. Oh I lost my crystals. Uh there the first time. It's a beginner's trap. I don't like beginner's traps in games. It's like you need the prior knowledge. Cool. Trial of the Nile. That sounds uh... By the way, um, after the last recording, I, I did the escape thing again. I thought I'd lost all... Like... <laughs> At least a couple of levels or something, so I'm glad I've gotten used to saving it after every single, uh... After every single level, even if I have to do it multiple times. Right. Oh, this is gonna be hard. 
and do it like this. There we go. <laughs> I was willing to jump backwards continuously. Oh god, we saw this earlier. In an earlier level. I think Neil's going to need to, uh... Grind for more extra lives. No! I was going to say, this bit's not actually that bad compared to the previous ones because you can jump jump on at an angle. Oh my god. Only the second room. Oh, I had invincibility frames, so I get to keep my... Uh, crystal. I guess. I assume that's what happened. So it's damaged but I kept my crystal. I'm getting all that it really is the best of. Firefly section now. Hey Firefly. In. I don't know why I just thought that was a Firefly in the jar. Could be a spark or something. Just look more sparkish if we're being honest. Crystals to need a bit of backup. Oh, my God! Oh, this is really going to annoy me. I'm going to lose all my lives, aren't I? Before this paper is over, yeah, that horrible feeling that's going to be so embarrassing. respect. I gave it to it. Well, I think I uh, switch level, uh, switch rooms before I even uh, went into the world, didn't I? some pretty dangerous jumps if I'm being honest. I've got two more to go. Well, no, just everything that he just done, he just needs to do it one more time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make the sound effect for the jellies. I think I've got to do a jelly bounce. But to be honest, I think I can just make that with a normal jump. Or one more tough jump. I mean, they look tough to me. Though that means they actually are tough. 
Oh my god. What a troll. So there were, yeah, rocks interactive. Ah, <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> oh, so it'd be like Leap of Faith and take me to a secret area with like a million extra lives. Oh, these require some half decent jumps. I oh, remember you do have a little bit of time for the platforms break. You don't have to rush the, the broken platforms necessarily. Please. It is nice to be able to do this without worrying about collectibles along the way. I don't know which. But if I blow you up here, do I get a clue? I don't section. Oh. No. I'm trying to be jumpy. I feel so. Oh. Note to self. Next time, take the right hand door. Oh my god, I couldn't even... That was like the easy part. I couldn't even do that bit. Down to 12 lives now. Oh no. I'm rushing, that's a problem. Come on. I've, I know platforming. I've done platforming games. I've, oh, I've beaten hard platforming games. I don't know why I did that. Now all that, I'm, I'm, do what it is, I'm not focusing. Bear with me. The game's like Hollow Knight, where you have to combine platforming with uh... on that. Beating the likes of like ghosts and goblins, I've done it again. I'm losing focus. There we 
go. So tricky. It's like to take you off guard. Oh, it's the next level then. We got crystal level. Secret Sentinel. Oh, is that the actual boss? I seem to remember that now. Secret Sentinel. Just because I always thought like, that sounds like so cool. That, that sounds like such a like, you know, and it's five beats the boss. We're fighting. Crystal Baron Dante. Does that make you feel? Oh no, it took a hit. You look so weird though. Look, is it me or his eyes bigger? <laughs> I think we've got to have them all sort of like going at the same time. There we go. That's the that's the secret final boss, I think. The gongs. Why cool that it's like the gongs. I won't do it. I can split into crystals and we take one home with us. As a souvenir of our trip. There we go, that's Croc. That's the end of it. Like with that final boss, I like the idea of it. And I guess like, you know, if you're an impatient little kid like I was, the spinning platforms would be really challenging. <laughs> but there we go. Rock, Legend of the Gobbos, Enhanced Edition. Um, I'm going to tackle my final thoughts in two parts. The first part, I'm going to talk about the actual Enhanced Edition. And, I mean, I don't remember how the original crop played because it's been probably a legit 20 years since I last played it. It wasn't like, don't get me wrong, but I, I enjoy crop, but it's not like a noteworthy game. There's a lot that I couldn't remember about it, a lot of specifics. Um, but it feels flawless. So, crop guy. I tip my cap to you. I thought you did incredibly well. Um, you know, like it, it's been displayed on my PC perfectly on a nice, you know, it's widescreen. It's in HD. You know, obviously the graphic, like you know, you're not, we're not expecting like an actual remake where it's modern graphics or whatever. But it looks like it's HD. It looks like it. It's been, you know, preserved, but brought back and croc will return will it return to this channel for croc 2 let me know in the comments oh take i've never had a game tell me to take care that's nice isn't it game's commendable just for that um so yeah in terms of like the actual enhanced edition like it looks great it plays well um in terms of the second part of this little collection of thoughts, the actual game itself. Um, I think having replayed it, I can see why it didn't take off in the same way Spyro, the same way Spyro and Crash Bandicoot did, and, and those sort of games. But I also see why it does hold a bit of a special place in a lot of people's hearts, such as my own. It's sort of, Crocs like the underdog. What? say that but Croc's an idiot as well why did he just jump into the lava 
Um, it's very simple. Like some of the platform did get more challenging. And there was a good degree of like difficulty scale. Um, I didn't think much of it was too challenging. Some of the jumps like I appreciated you had to be uh, almost pixel perfect to land them. I like that. Um, it's like the only level I really had a problem with was that mini game, like the, the series of mini games, and that's because like, I, I can't make my mind up. On the one hand, Croc is an early example of a 3D game. They were exactly established and popular. Oh, the, obviously they're popular because we still do 3D gaming. <laughs> but like back then, you know, we were just coming into 3D gaming. And um, you, you, you're sort of lenient towards it in that respect. But at the same time, Super Mario 64 had already been out of here. Crash Bandicoot. I think Spyro came a year later, I think I said. And they are just clearly superior games. Um, Rock's not as challenging as any of them. And the controls are archaic. The tank style controls. I know tank style controls were more popular back then. Um, we have to remember is the PlayStation. The original controller didn't have analog sticks. There was no doing that. You had a D-pad. They had to make a, a, a platformer with a D-pad. I think that's why Crash worked. In a sense, because there was a lot of going like from back backwards to forwards as a 3D game. Um, well, well, until like games like Ape Escape come out that use the analog controller on, on PlayStation. Nintendo had the advantage of having an analog stick on its uh, vanilla controller. So, I appreciate the attempt that they made. I love the music. It's a fun little game. Um, but not, like, if you're nostalgic about it, it's definitely worth playing it again and enjoying it. But at the same time, it's like, how, how as a kid did I struggle with this game? There's only like a couple of tough bits and I just like blasted through it. Um, as 33 year old Neil. But it was fun, I appreciate playing it again. Um, will I play it again in the future? I oh, don't see any need to unless they did a full remake. Would I like to see a Croc 3? Yeah, actually. Just make a brand new modern Croc game. You don't have to like... You don't have to like change the formula all that much. Just make a fun platforming game about collecting stuff. Rescuing gobbers, coloured crystals. I think it'll be quite fun. Um, I don't think it needs to be remastered though. I think rather than make an official Croc HD or Croc remaster, you need to make Croc 3 and just modernise it. Um, but I enjoy my experience. If you like Croc, you have nostalgia for him, it is worth playing this. I thought the guy did a very good job, the Croc guy remastering this if i mean if he does croc 2 i'll definitely play it if you want to see me play the original croc 2 on playstation let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do because it did um up the formula a bit and change the formula um so that was croc legend of the gobbles highly enjoyable nostalgia trip for me thank you all so much for watching please leave a comment let me know your thoughts like this video, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm sure you'll thoroughly enjoy <laughs> all the games that I've been playing. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye bye.